Bishop Robert Morlino of the Diocese of Madison. Morlino was 71 years old. He died last night following heart complications earlier this week. Our Madeline O'Neill attended a mass in his memory this morning and has more on how the bishop will be remembered. After 15 years serving as Bishop, Morlino is not without controversy. As we reported, his stances on issues such as birth control and homosexuality have been questioned. But today, churchgoers are remembering a warm, kind man who they say left the diocese in better shape than he found it. I'm devastated. I'm very heartbroken. In a place where the devout can find direction. This morning, Mass is one of mourning. I think there's a bit of a hole. The Diocese of Madison is without a guiding light. Yeah, I feel sad. Parishioners spent the dark hours of Saturday night into Sunday at Holy Name Heights praying for Bishop Robert Morlino after his health took a turn for the worse. Bishop Morlino has been with me in a very personal way, every step of the way. Now, after Morlino's death. This kind heart, this joyful spirit. Soon to be ordained never priest Bill Van Wagner will never forget how the bishop illuminated his life path. And I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am right now without him. It's uh, not just Van Wagner. Bishop Morlino was a dear friend. Father uh, Scott Emerson says in Bishop Morlino's 15 years, he encouraged many to take the journey toward priesthood. What used to be just a handful of candidates is now in the dozens. And certainly that's due to his leadership. Uh, it's due to his example and witness of what it means to be a true priest. You don't always hear glowing words about Morlino. I found myself getting upset with him on a fairly regular basis. But even political activist Jim Rich says after writing the bishop a letter. I was very surprised. He and Morlino became unlikely friends. He was warm, he was engaging. And the first thing he said to me was, Jim, I know I don't always get it right. Uh, it's clear Morlino left his mark. Such a wise man, such a learned man. On both the churches and the people in the pews. And a man who won't be forgotten. Who now look toward another guiding light. But certainly our Lord provides a path forward. The diocese will elect a temporary administrator in the coming weeks to take over until the Vatican appoints a new bishop. That process usually takes anywhere from six months to a year. Thank you, Maddie. We spoke with Bill Winnicky, an area pastor, about that selection process. He says it's unlikely a bishop from the Madison area will be appointed. Rather, the Vatican will evaluate current bishops and priests from across the country. Winnicky believes the next bishop will be more theologically moderate than Bishop Morlino. Bishop Morlino was appointed at a time when the inter the, the world church was headed in a very theologically conservative direction and Pope Francis tends to emphasize more uh, openness and uh, moderation. He says usually bishops serve until they are 75 years old when they submit their resignation to the Pope. A hay barn in rural Dane County is a complete loss 